In May, Rosati Kane High School celebrated its 111th graduating class at the new cathedral. This year was particularly special because the class of 2023 was almost their last. The Archdiocese of St. Louis announces its decision to close two of its cherished institutions. St. Mary's and Rosati Kane High Schools in St. Louis will close at the end of the school year. The announcement from the Archdiocese came as a shock to the students, faculty, staff, and alumni of Rosati Kane. Lots of tears, lots of heartbreak. Maggie Sullivan is the incoming president of Rosati Kane. And I think for our young people who have been through a pandemic, who have been through so much in the past few years, this was truly a kick in the stomach. Opening in 1911 under the School Sisters of Notre Dame and the Sisters of St. Joseph, Rosati Kane was the first all-girls school within the city of St. Louis, and in 1947 was the first high school in the St. Louis area to integrate. Both orders were forward-thinking and proponents of social justice, and so it was very important to them that they serve the dear neighbor without distinction, and that meant all of the neighbors. And in the city of St. Louis, uh, the demographic is very diverse, and therefore their mission was to serve the brightest, the most academically gifted of the young women, and that meant um, students of color as well. For more than a century, Rosati Kane has educated thousands of top scholars, diverse women who have gone on to become judges, business leaders, scientists, and educators themselves. And as it turns out, it's these very women who weren't going to let Rosati close. moment. We don't like to talk about the day, but let's walk it back to September 28th when we heard the news that Rosati Kane High School was going to close at the end of the current school year. Like many of you, I felt a sense of loss, but also a defeat for this community as young women would forfeit this exceptional educational choice. And I wasn't alone. The rapid response from our community inspired a collaboration that, in true RK fashion, captured the energy and drive of alumni and parents with a goal that we could not and we would not let this happen. When we came to this meeting in October and I saw the enthusiasm and I sat here and because of my love for Rosati, I said, if anybody can do this, Rosati Kane girls can do this. And they did. Rosati Kane girls mobilized. By Christmas, a lease with the archdiocese had been negotiated. They secured a Catholic sponsor with the Sisters of St. Joseph. Money was raised to keep Rosati Kane open, and a financial sustainability plan was implemented. There is something about the mission of Rosati Kane and our place in the city of St. Louis and the population that we serve and the power of our alumni that people said, there's no way we're closing this school and we are staying and we're going to make sure that Rosati Kane is better than ever. As of July 1st, the only all-girls high school in the city of St. Louis will go by a new name, Rosati Kane Academy. We believe in the values, and I spoke out very loudly and strongly that this institution continues because of what it has been, it is, and stands for in the central city, right across from the cathedral. Uh, outstanding education, the multicultural diversity, and that's the kind of thing we need in our country and in our world. Rosati Kane Academy is open, but the grassroots effort to achieve financial sustainability will endure. 75% of students receive financial aid, and last year, due to COVID and fear of closure, enrollment dropped from 248 to 188 students. But the RK community's loyalty fuels their dedication 
to ensure the young women in the city of St. Louis have the same opportunity they did. Uh, once a Rosati, always a Rosati girl. What, what does that mean? Just that. We'll never let go. We love this place like no other. Set the course of my life and gave me the skills and the tools to go out in the world and give what I received. This year's graduating class will see students off to Harvard, Brown, University of Chicago, Trinity College in Dublin, among many other universities, guaranteeing the RK Forever movement will continue. For Living St. Louis, I'm Anne-Marie Berger.